Welcome back everyone, this is Henry with Guns, Games, and Gadgets channel. In today's video, will be part 3 on what is the best gun for home defense. So let's get into it guys. Alright, so if you have not seen part 1 and 2, I advise you to go watch it. I'll have the video up at the end of this video or well, or in the, in the description as well. So make sure you check those out. And... Like um like the other two videos, I'm going to be doing pros and cons. This one won't be as long because it's a shotgun. So we're going to be talking about the shotgun uh, platform. So let's get into it, guys. All right, so we're going to go with some pros here. All right, obviously, a shotgun has great stopping power. Duh. I mean, if you're up close, even with slugs, you know, it's, yeah. All right, you guys get the, you know, the gif. All right, and another one is... You only have to be 18 to buy one. So that's good. It depends on the state. There's some states that's pushing long guns to 21, but most states are still 18, even those restricted states. Speaking in the next uh, pro, not restricted in most states. <laughs> well, I say all states because I think all states allow shotguns. They, they don't have any, you know, they don't c complain about shotguns like ARs and pan guns, mainly ARs. All right, another pro is uh, there's many ammo cho uh, choices. You got birdshot, buckshot, slugs, and there's all kinds of different variants of those. I'm not going get to get into that, guys. It can be modified, which what I got here, I got a little foregrip on mine and a little um, ammo holder. Um. Another pro, uh, I mean, this is not really a pro, but it kind of is, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, the racking sound may <laughs> stop criminals from breaking into your house. <laughs> I mean, it it's it's done that in the you know in the past. Also, um, it can be lightweight depending on what type of shotgun you pick. So you get uh, so you pick a shotgun like this that's long and heavy. And or a short shotgun, you know, but the heavier it is, the more recoil it will uh, absorb. And the lighter it is, yeah, you're going to have some issues controlling that shotgun. And uh, another pro is um, it can run dirty, you know, in, uh, in most pump actions like that. Like you don't really have to lube them up and clean them, but I advise you to lube up and clean every single gun you have after you get done shooting it. So you always want to make sure everything's clean and nothing wrong with start to rest. So that, that's why you need to have everything lubed up. All right, so that's all the pros, guys. So we're going to get into, into the cons. All right, obviously, depending on the gauge, you got 10 gauge, 16 gauge, 20 gauge. I, I just skipped 12 gauge. Oh, my gosh. 10, 12, 16, 20, and 28 gauge. I think there's a few others. So most shotgun patterns are 12 gauge. Like the one I got here. So it's going to have heavy recoil. Like that's just the way it is, guys. It's a shotgun. So it's going to have a lot of recoil. But, you know, it has good stopping power. So I guess you get, you know, you get recoil, but you get a, a lot of, you know, you know, you get way more in return. All right. Another con, it can be cumbersome depending on what you put uh, on on the air. oh man on on the shotgun and what model would you pick and yes guys i am reading notes again i just mixed up some words but uh yeah like if you put an optic on it you know if you keep adding stuff to the shotgun it's going to get heavier and heavier that's just how it is then the model i picked this is a maverick 88 i put a tactical stock on it and a few other things on this 18 inch barrel so the shotgun is already heavy shotguns in general are pretty heavy that's just how it is. All right. Um, low bullet sh slash shell capacity because they are shells. Uh, shotguns this size can hold 7 plus 1 in the tube or 6 plus 1. The shorter ones can all hold 4 or 5 plus 1. But like I said, if you're using double up buckshot, you know, you get, what, 9 30 caliber size pellets. So that's, that makes up for the low capacity. But it's still a con. All right, another one is uh, it can be very loud. Obviously, it's a firearm, but shotguns shoot, you know, shells, and it's going to be extremely loud. It's going to be way louder than the pistol. It's going to be close to 
uh, rifle uh, when it comes to decibels. It's yeah, it's loud, and also it, it can be uh, concussive as well. All right, it can be picky with some ammo. Yep, just like any other gun, a shotgun can be picky too, especially if it's a semi-automatic shotgun. A, a pump action, no, it, it can't be picky. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But in semi-automatics, yeah, they can be extremely picky. All right, but yeah, so that sums it up, guys. So, uh, what do you uh think is uh, best for you. So when it comes to home defense, so let so let me d know down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little series that I did. It's, it's mainly for the new folks, you know. Welcome to the Second Amendment community once again. I appreciate it. Sadly, we had to take a pandemic to wake a, a lot of you guys up, but it's y'all's right, just like ours. So, um, just don't just also, um, the uh, just politicians and whatnot that's trying to um, take our guns so make, make sure you get involved and follow other youtube channels like guns and gadgets shout out to him for you guys can know what's going on and y'all can contact y'all's representatives and just get involved donate to the gun organizations and you know just be in a known of what's going on and uh yeah guys also y'all uh you uh make sure you check out my youtube affiliate i mean my amazon affiliate links I'll put all that in the in the description below. Uh, make sure you check out my um my merch. Uh, check out all my uh, other social media links. I have all that up, guys. So um yeah, I appreciate everyone from uh, for checking out uh, my channel and su su uh, and support my channel. So uh uh yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stop with the the rambling and stuff because I know it's gonna be 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I uh, hope y'all stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings, carry a gun, get prepared, and as always, have a nice day, guys. Y'all take it easy. Stay safe. Again.